right behind me is the Tropicana Hotel, the last days of the Tropicana Hotel. Today is March 26th, 2024. This hotel was opened April 4th, 1957, and uh, almost to the day. It is closing April 2nd, it'll be no more. This is gonna become uh, a baseball stadium for the Oakland Athletics, soon to be the Las Vegas Athletics. It's a very strange thing, a lot of history here. We're gonna go inside and take a look one last time. All right, final days of the Tropicana here in Las Vegas. One last walkthrough for old time's sake. Okay, this video is being released on April 2nd, 2024. And as of today, the Tropicana has officially closed its doors forever. Opened on April 4th, 1957. It was the most expensive uh, hotel on the Strip. It was $15 million back then. 35 acres at the southeast corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and uh, Tropicana Avenue. It's now going to be a baseball stadium on nine acres of the property, and uh, there'll also be a new Bally's Resort built there as well. We're going to give you a little bit of history. This A's project, though, is going to cost $1.5 billion, so it's come a, a long way since that original $15 million. All right, we're entering the doors for one last time and give you a little bit more uh, history. Sammy Davis Jr. bought an 8% interest in the Tropicana. He was the first African-American to own a share of a strip resort. And, uh, okay, well, there's the gift shop and a lot of these things you've probably seen. I feel like most people watching have been to the Tropicana at one point or another. Right up there is the famous stained glass uh, a ceiling that a lot of people have been asking about. When it was put in, it was uh, estimated to be worth one million dollars. No one knows where that stained glass uh, uh, is going to go, but I'm sure it will be preserved in some way. And that's 4,000 square feet. It was put in in 1979. A lot of people were fearing that the Tropicana would be imploded, which is a sort of common thing to do in Las Vegas with property. Uh, but most people are saying that due to how old the Tropicana is, and the amount of asbestos that may be present, uh, that there probably will not be a traditional implosion. As we walk around, let's talk a little bit about some of the entertainment history. At one time, this was a huge resort on the Las Vegas Strip and before uh, many others came along. The first performer was Eddie Fisher uh, to open up the Tropicana. Also, Louis Armstrong, Benny Goodman performed there and there was a show, it was called the Tropicana, Tropicana Holiday Striptease Review. It opened in 1958 and starred Jane Mansfield. I can't help but think if I had a DeLorean and could go back in time that I could enter the Tropicana uh, showroom and see a topless Jane Mansfield. Maybe that's just me. In 1959, opened the Follies Brigier Show. Very popular show. It stayed open until 2009. To this day, it's still the longest running show in Las Vegas history. That show was featured in a lot of movies and a lot of TV, including Elvis Presley's Viva Las Vegas, and in 1971, Diamonds Are Forever, Sean Connery, James Bond movie, uh, James Bond chose to stay at the Tropicana. And as you may or may not know, he brought Lana Wood up to his room, and uh, Sid Haig, among other henchmen, tossed her out the window and into a pool. Some people say that scene might not have been filmed inside the Tropicana, uh, but that is where the, at least the scene started. Uh, the Godfather, 1972, this was Mo Green's hotel. Michael Corleone comes to Las Vegas to meet with Mo Green and to make him an offer he can't refuse, trying to buy uh, the Tropicana. In the movie, they call it the Tropagala. Didn't want to get sued uh, the Godfather 2 has a big scene that was deleted where they enter the Tropicana or Tropagala, go into the Folies Brazier showroom. It's in the, uh, it's in the deleted scenes. Uh, so that was uh, The Godfather. In 1978, Charlie's Angels TV show filmed inside the Tropicana. Uh, in 1992, Designing Women. 
1998, Robbie Knievel jumped 30 limos uh, to, uh, well, on his motorcycle, that's Evil Knievel's son, in front of the Tropicana. Other TV shows filmed here included Angel and Malcolm in the Middle. We're looking out the windows here at some of the swimming pools. The swimming pool area was closed. When the Tropicana opened, it was really just those three-story uh, bungalow-style uh, rooms that you see off in the side. It wasn't until much later that they opened the two major towers that you see one of them there. Uh, so we were really just looking around, and as you can see, uh, there's not that many people there. And obviously, at the time that you're watching this, you can tell that water isn't so clean. But at the time you're watching this, there is no more Tropicana. So I had a lot of history here. My parents visited Las Vegas, stayed at the Tropicana. I've stayed at the Tropicana. Back down this way used to be sort of a tropical bird area. They would have parrots and things and a little bird show. There was a buffet. Uh, and then all the way back, the way we're going, following this uh, lovely young woman with the Target bag, there was a convention center. And uh, I actually worked a convention there. That that you're looking at is the wedding uh, uh, chapel area. A lot of people watching probably got married there. Uh, showing you that conference center Um a lot of history, and it's sad to see it go. But this is the Las Vegas way. Things uh, get torn down, and money talks, and new things come in. History doesn't last so long here. Uh, sometimes old cities like New York, California, sometimes histor history uh, stands. Things become landmarks here. Well, you have to enjoy these things while you can. I hope you're enjoying this last sort of walkthrough of the Tropicana. We were coming out here and an employee, I don't think that was his job though, he probably did something else. But he said, if you guys want to go out there, uh, go ahead. I said, there's a sign right here that says it's uh, do not enter. And he said, that's okay. <laughs> so if we get arrested, we'll say that uh, it was his idea. A lot of people got married here, Island Wedding Chapel, a lot of history. Some people watching right now are seeing where they had their vows. Uh, I'm imagining this is locked. The news. Dana Roselli's in there. It's up here? I think so. Yeah. It's raining. You think it's raining? I think just this way, the pond's blowing. It's Oh. <laughs> yeah, see the spot up there. Where? I mean, one of these pools is where Alana Wood got thrown out the window. I don't know which one it is. Had to be the main one, a deeper pool. It's nice. This must have been like a photo op, or maybe people got married uh, right under here. This hotel had a lot of pools, so it's hard to say. Could they yell at us because uh, there's no lifeguard under it? Guess we're gonna find out. Last days of the Tropicana. Seems like a shame. Seems, it's nicer than I uh, remembered, but then I don't know how often I actually came out here.
pretty deserted. So far, no one has questioned what we're doing or seemed to care. I mean, maybe the more we walk around, they will. They will. Ooh. Yeah, that didn't, didn't look good. Air filters, asbestos. Well, all this shit's gonna be on sale, so I'm sure if you could take it right now, it's, it would be yours. These original low-rise bungalows were the original towers. They built the other ones much later, I think 79 and 86, for two of the big ones, maybe that one and that one. I think this is the original structure. All right, we were eventually asked to leave the pool area. They were polite. A lot of people were trying to go out there and take pictures. Uh, we'll do one more walkthrough. Uh, I alluded to the thing that all these items will be for sale, and that is true. It's already begun through a liquidation company. At some point, they will probably do one last walkthrough. All the beds, couches, tables, uh, ashtrays, if that's still a thing, room key, souvenirs, pens, pads, uh, flat screen TVs, all of that is going to be for sale and, and going to be cheap. Uh, so people will be going. I, I may go to the sale just because maybe you guys would like to see or own a piece of the uh, legendary Tropicana. You can still see people trying to do some last second gaming. Uh, right here was one of the uh, Asian restaurants on the right. I think it might be closed. To the left there of your screen is Robert Irvine's. I ate there once. Uh, Rich Little apparently ate there after every one of his shows. He'd have a bowl of soup and take a little something to go. And we saw his show at one of the last ones there. Big Bet Poker. There's a TV studio in there. And not for much longer, I would think, but... Cameras. They're gonna have to find a new home like everybody else. Wanted to give you a few more uh, last looks at the Tropicana and uh, some of the surroundings. Uh, Jamie Kennedy of the Scream movies, one of the last uh, comedians to play the Laugh Factory, and you can see they had a Michael Jackson live tribute and a Purple Rain tribute. That's the MGM grand to the left. And uh, showing you the front desk, obviously not very busy, but uh, thought I'd show you that as well. And of course, that uh, stained glass ceiling that was put in in 1979 for $1 million, I'm sure it's gone up. It's going to be a difficult job uh, taking that down and putting it somewhere, selling it. Maybe it'll go to the Neon Museum here in Las Vegas uh, all day when it's sunny. It changes colors, the sun shining in. At least that's what I'm told. And there it is, a, a last look at the Tropicana. I hope you enjoyed sharing these memories with me. Uh, the Tropicana will definitely uh, be missed, Las Vegas history. And uh, I hope you liked this video. And uh, why not, while you're at it, subscribe. Thank you for watching.